is going to have to get comfortable. You know, last week he just never really settled in versus Oregon. I think once he settles in, if he can get comfortable, he's a very efficient passer. California, a 3-4 defense. Lobestall, quick hit out to the right. Ricky Galvin the catch, brought down by Sean Katoos behind the line. And Galvin, a local kid, the redshirt freshman Ricky from Galvin. Berkeley. Second down, 10, no gain on that first play from scrimmage for Washington State. Here's the inside give. Not much running room as Chris McCain brings down Carl Winston. Four receivers lined up for Washington State. Third down, 10. Three-man rush. Lobos on the pressure from Holt, and he throws the football away. Incomplete. Cal wants a grounding call as no receiver was in the area. And justified. He was still within the pocket. He threw that ball away, but there was no white jersey anywhere near. But the Bears staying in that odd front, a three-man front. Usually they get that nickel look with two outside linebackers. Then they used the big bodies and brought the backers around the corner. The officials do call grounding against Marshall Lobestall. Left-hander in the pistol formation. Here's the pitch. E.C. Cefeli around the right side. Gets a good block. Leaps. Has the first down. Gets out across the 45 to the 46. Brought down by Tyree Toomer, the safety for Washington State. Here's a look at the backs and receivers of the Bears. Cefeli with the carry, the junior from Salt Lake City. Offensive line. Justin Gates getting the start at left guard for Brian Schwenke, who was ill and unable to go for California this afternoon. Second down, 10. Maynard, bubble screen. Allen in space. Keenan Allen into Cougar territory, close to a first down. Brought down by Dayon Buchanan, the sophomore from nearby Fairfield. Nice job by Jeff Tedford calling plays to give Maynard a little comfort back in the pocket. Just a quick hit to the outside, reset your feet, deliver the ball. Right now he's trying to slow this game down for Zach Maynard. He wants to develop that confidence early, give him easy to complete passes, some high accuracy throws. Third down and a yard for California at the Washington State 45. Here's the pitch to Cefeli. Cap leading the way, has the first down and more. Cefeli breaks the tackle at the 30, keeps his feet going inside the 25. Hard nose running by E.C. Cefeli, the junior running back for Cal. Well, it's going to be a long day for the Cougar defense if they can't slow down this Cal running attack. You can see pretty vanilla 4-3 look by the Cougs. Little shell coverage on the back. They're just not getting off blocks right now. He's just a with a nice finish to that run. But the Cougars have any success on defense this afternoon. They need to make it a more one-dimensional game to get that ball in Maynard's hands with some of those mistakes he's made. But running like that isn't going to cut it. Alex Hoffman Ellis on the tackle. Empty backfield as Maynard checks with the sideline here. First down, 10 Cal. At the Wazoo, 23. Maynard fakes the give to Allen, keeps himself, gets tripped up across the 20. Formation. Allen goes good out. Here's the red zone numbers for the Bears. Maynard on the bootleg. Open, Anthony Miller, the tight end, with the catch and the touchdown for California. Nice look for the Bears. Nice series of play calling. The boot out of the backfield. Nice play action look and come counter direction. You see Miller coming across the back of the pattern. Good job by Zach Maynard to find his receiver down the field and deliver that back shoulder ball. Really, if he tries to lead Miller out to the flat, he throws an interception. He throws the back shoulder ball, a catchable ball, and the big tight end makes a nice grab for six. Tavecchi on for the extra point after Anthony Miller's third touchdown catch of the year, the fifth of his career. California with the first points of the afternoon. Maynard to Anthony Miller puts Cal in front, 7-0. Played Oregon very tough last Saturday in Eugene. Lobostal the give. Not much running room as the Bears quickly close in. Ernest Owusu leading the charge for the California defense. Even though the Cougars are going no huddle, they're still taking their time here checking the Cal defense. Pistol formation for Lobostal to throw on second down. Fires toward the sideline too high intended for Marquise Wilson. Covered by Katus and Steve Williams of California. Third down eight. Lobestone 
Good protection. Throws incomplete. Broken up intended for Isaiah Bart. And on the play, Mark Anthony, the corner for California, the second straight three and out for this Washington State offense. Cal offense looked pretty darn good their first drive. Rugby punt, a low line drive that bounces. Keenan Allen bobbles it, picks it up for California. Has some running room, brought down just shy of midfield by Jared Byers. Anger third in the conference, averaging better than 45 yards a kick. Last year, the Cal record. At better than 45 and a half per punt. Back to return Leon Brooks. Four and a half yards of return for Washington State. Anger, the senior from Camarillo, California. And a blast from Anger. A beautiful punt. Sails over the head and kicks out of bounds as Leon Brooks looked helpless. And a beautiful punt by Anger. And that's one of the reasons, as an offense, Cal just has to manage. You know, they lost a lot of yards, Anger's but it's okay because they're going to win the punting battle for almost any game they play. They have Brian Anger, a great punter who is a great weapon, a guy who's a candidate for the Ray Guy Award. If you just manage on offense, you're going to end up winning a lot of games one, two, in the punting three, game. A 60-yard punt for Anger pits Washington State game. back at their five. Special offers game. And a beautiful punt by Anger with picture perfect mechanics there on his punt. Nice flexibility at the end. <laughs> These days, I don't know what flexibility is. <laughs> Inside screen set up Washington State, but DJ Campbell all over it, and he brings down. Guys. Well, a nice honor by Trevor Guyton for a guy that he grew up playing with. Up in the state of Washington, unfortunate circumstances, but a nice tribute by Trevor Guyton as you oh, look at David Wilkerson, the Bears' outside the linebacker, who got injured on the last play. The you see Wilkerson standing up on the outside. Just get a low cut there at the top of your screen. That's a tough one, you know, you, you think you get your hands up, lock the pass, you expose yourself as an outside linebacker, but for everything they do to quarterbacks, they got to pay a price too. <laughs> That's right. Wilkerson replaced by true freshman Cecil Whiteside of the outside linebacker spot. Officially no gain on that inside screen to Wilson. Second down, 10 Cougars. Midway through this opening quarter, Cal leading Washington State 7 0. Now, Washington State has numbers inside Cal with only six men in the box right now. Spreading the field, pistol formation, and the handoff up the middle. And that's Galvin out across the 10 to the 11 yard line. And you bring up a great point, Mike, in that a lot of times these Cougars have the no huddle offense, but Cal really likes to dance around defensively, and they're going to wait and see ultimately how Cal lines up. Third down four after a six yard Galvin run. Lobestall from the pocket, throws, incomplete. Steve Williams locked up on the outside. With Christoph Williams, Penley Markers in the area, most likely a pass interference call against Cal Steve Williams. You knew that was going to come. Steve Williams looked like a very big bracelet <laughs> on the left arm. Third down and six, Washington State. Lobestall steps up, goes down, incomplete, just got rid of it as lowering the boom. Lobestall was DJ Holt. And Lobostall paid the price. Well, we were talking about it before the game. One of the things that makes this Cal defense so difficult is they come from so many different areas. Clancy Pendergrass loves the zone blitz, and DJ Holt, Werner Sarusu, Michael Kent. They roll the ball. The Washington State does a good job of that. The Bears would like to run the ball and control it a little bit themselves. Maynard rolling out under pressure, finds Jones into Cougar territory. Marvin Jones slips down at the Washington State 40. That's a gain of 11 yards.